Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley from Inclipse and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be sharing a closer look at one of my new products from the release. This one is called Piano Recital. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a newer concept but it's so exciting for me because it adds a lot to your stamping world and it's gonna give you tons of different ways you can use one background stamp, which I just love. I love getting a little bit of extra bang from my buck and I know you guys do too. So I designed this with that in mind so you can get tons of use out of it and if you're a lazy crafter like me and don't love masking, then this is gonna be the product for you. So this is my background stamp. It's called Piano Recital, and we make these with Stampers Anonymous. So they do a great job of printing the design on the cling, which is so awesome. And it is super high quality red rubber, which I really love. I love to make sure that we do red rubber and background stamps because this gives the best impression that I find. And when you have such a large surface of the stamp, I want it to stamp perfectly for you guys every single time. So we made sure that it was that nice red rubber, but I wanted to share where I kind of got my inspiration with this from. So Stampers Anonymous also creates Tim Holtz's stamps, and he does all of his sets in the cling red rubber, which is super awesome. But some of these sets with the smaller images in, they actually leave the whole sheet of rubber on here. So you'll see when I flip this over, you have excess rubber on the outside, and then you can peel out the actual images. And they do this so that um, these smaller images don't fall off the sheet by themselves or get knocked off or anything. This is a really awesome idea to make sure that nothing falls out of there, but I wanted to do that kind of like a puzzle for the backgrounds. So here you'll see my background stamp. This is called Piano Recital, but you'll see there's there's lines on here where they're cut and they have little tiny rubber attachments there. And all you need to do when you get your stamp is just take it and peel it right off the cling. And this is just going to detach from both sides then. So there's just little rubber slits in there that kind of hold it together. This is going to give you a ton more use out of your stamp, which I think is so much fun. And no need to worry because you can definitely put it right back together, which I think is the coolest part. It's like a little puzzle piece. You just fit it right back together and then you can use your stamp just as it was intended as a full background, which I really love. Um, so you can use it as this full background. So let me show you how it stamps like this. So I'm going to pull out an ink. Let's do some Remember Me. And let me grab my stark white cardstock here so I can show you how this background stamps. I actually drew all of these notes and I used to play the piano, so this is kind of funny for me. Um, but I drew all these notes and it's not an actual piece of music or anything like that. It's actually inverted on each line. So one line is right side up, one line is right side down. Um, so it just kind of is a fun and playful background to kind of match the rest of my line. It's not supposed to be taken too seriously. So I'm just going to place this down and then I like to give pressure all over to make sure that it stamps really nicely all over the background stamps. So just make sure you hit every area. And there we have our background stamped. So there's how it looks. It's super fun and kind of wavy. It's got this really cool look to the background. If you want to do it the long way, you can. We do it six by six so you can choose which way you put your design. Now, what if I want to use now what if I want to use the strip of music by itself? That's why I designed it like this. I designed it so instead of having to mask off both lines of music, you get the bang for your buck and you get this as just one stamp. So it's almost like you get a stamp set. So basically all I'm going to do is take this cling stamp, I'm going to stick it right down onto my acrylic block and I'm ready to stamp this by itself. This means that if I want to stamp in different colors of inks, I'm totally able to, which I am absolutely in love with. So you're not just stuck with stamping with one color of ink. Let me go in with Later Gator and I'll do some Overzealous on this one, which is the lighter and darker green. Able to stamp that right down onto my card. And then I can keep stamping with other colors. So let me go in with some Slippery When Wet, which is my yellow color. And I'll mix that along with some rosy cheeks. Kind of blend those together right in the center. And then I can stamp that right above this. And you can see how fun and easy it is 
to stamp this onto my card. So instead of having one solid color of a background, I'm able to easily use different colors on the background and stamp them all on one card. And super simple, there's no masking involved. I'm able to just stamp this like a background. So this looks like it was a background stamp. And then let's show you how to just stamp one line of music at a time if you want to. So let me go in with some jet black ink because that's probably what regular sheet music would be. I'm just gonna go in here with the jet black archival and we can stamp this right down onto our card. So if I just want one line of music, that's all I have to have. Look, and no masking at all. We have one line of music down our card, and this could be our focal point if you wanted to. You could maybe have a sentiment going along here as well, but it was super easy to stamp this since we have that one line of music separate from all the rest. So then once we're done using the stamp, all I have to do again is peel that right off my acrylic block, and then I can pull back in my background with my acetate, line it back up and stick it right back together like a puzzle. And again, if you need to, sometimes I pull apart the rubber like that and then they stick back together exactly how they're supposed to perfectly like this background stamp. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed this background stamp idea as much as I do. I absolutely love this piano note background, whether you use it as a full background stamp like you usually would, that looks really awesome. Or if you pull it apart to use that one line to get different colors with no effort at all, or to get one line of music by itself. The options are really endless with this background stamp and I really wanted you to get the bang for your buck and have to only buy one stamp and get kind of several stamps from one background, which I think is so much fun. I shared a couple different options in today's video, but of course you can turn these into full cards and there's lots of different other options you can use with background stamps, which I think is so much fun. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this and I'll leave links down below to the piano recital background stamp that you guys saw in today's video and some of the inks that I used you guys can check them out and maybe pick them up from my new release. If you want to do any shopping at Ranger, be sure to use the code SIMON20 at checkout there for 20% off your purchase so you can definitely stock up on some awesome Simon Hurley Create products or any of your favorite Ranger Inc. products. Be sure to drop a comment down below letting me know if you love this new cutout idea as much as I do for the background stamps. I think this can be super cool for some new background stamps in the future as well, so keep your eye out. I'm super excited to kind of incorporate it because it can be a really great way instead of masking to get a little bit more use and variety out of your background stamps, which I just love. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to click that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it to never miss another video like this one from me. I'll see you guys very soon for another card making and crafting video, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye!